Andiamo tutto in scena, diamo le pronte in sarcoria per favore. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, poi ti muovi. Vai. Motore. Azione. Alza un pochino la testa. Stai indietro all'inizio. Adesso guarda in alto la sua. Alzi verso di me. Guarda sempre la mia mano. Non vi va come vi guardo. Non vi guardo. Eh, non vi guardo. Giriamo. Buonasera, grazie. We're here with Beatrice Kruger, uh, International Casting Director based in Rome. I have two nationalities. My mother's from Pavia, Italy, so Italian passport, and my dad's German, so also German passport. And uh, I grew up between Germany, Hong Kong, Italy of course, and um, California. And uh, studied acting. Uh, experimental theatre, political theatre in the 70s, 80s, and actually in the 70s, then I joined the Piccolo Teatro di Montadera and travelled around with them but also with other companies throughout Europe. But it just happened naturally by touring, you know, those, in those years. Whenever my friend, she worked in a production company, whenever she needed a foreign actor, she said, hey, do you know a French guy or a Spanish woman or, you know, actress who would be good that, for that and that role, and I, and I knew many people. So I said yes, and suggested her people naturally, and then put them in contact, and that's what happened. Okay, a casting director in a production company is the head of department for casting. So it's the just like costumes designer knows all about costume, material, and all that, is the expert on that. The casting director is the expert for the actors, so has to know the actors, as many as possible, and has to know where to look for actors and what, depending on what kind of casting it is. Depending on how big the role is and what kind of story and what kind of role it is, you do casting, yes, amongst actors mainly, but of course you will also do casting with people who are non-professionals. Um, you sign a contract for a beginning and an end of your casting and the payment and uh, you usually get an assistant. And then you have, you, this, you, you look for the right actor for the right part, for the right director. So someone, you have to get to know the imagination of the director, his story. So then according to the creative imagination of the director, how he sees this, 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 this role, the importance he gives this role. But of course also to the production necessities, the budget, um, the, where one is going to shoot, the language the actor has to speak, the nationality he has to have. And then you suggest these actors, then you have to audition them. Then you do, you have to negotiate a deal, you can negotiate a deal memo with the agent of the actor, or if the actor doesn't have an agent, then directly with the actor, on the basic things on to which, from which then the contract will be drawn. Fee, period of availability, number of shooting days, and overall availability period. Once the actor has signed that, or his agent, then the production company signs, and when you get that back, that means that is the sign, that's the end for the casting on that role. Okay, something that immediately comes to my mind is the uh, Lora di Regione. That was a film that I really, really liked doing with Marco Bellocchio, <clears throat> who I really enjoyed working with, he's an artist. Then other Italians are Valerio Miele, which was Ten Winters. It was a nice film, interesting. And um, with Vicky Tognazzi, Cadaveri Eccellenti. But then of course there's also the bigger films, which, are very, which were very enjoyable so far. That was um, Woody Allen's To Roll With Love or Spike Lee's uh, Miracle at St. Anna, or Rob Marshall's Nine, that was really fun. I did partially, I mean, European casting also for Ocean's Twelve. A couple of years ago I did um, La, The Divine Order, the Swiss film. And then I did Fofati Akin, yes, Solino, and um, the one about the Armenian Holocaust that was called The Cut.
was founder of the Italian Calcium Directors Association. Then it was refounded after a couple of years, and I'm still a member, so yes, that's very, very good. And then I'm, um, I'm a member of the Calcium Society of America, and um, I'm a founding men member plus the president or chairwoman, whatever you want to call it, of the International Calcium Directors Network. And I was the chairman of them until February, like two months ago. I'm also the founder of Italento, a platform for casting professionals and European actors, professional European actors, and it's accessible in six languages. German, Italian, French, Spanish, English and Russian. Yes, I'm a member of the Italian Film Academy. I'm a member of the European Film Academy. I'm also a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. When you really get into it, when you, when you have good alchemy going on with the director, which you have to get to know the director, right? Because you have to get to know his vision, his imagination, and that always goes back to how somebody grew up, you know? And that's something you have to know because that defines what what you, who you feel most affine to. When you propose actors for a certain role and then it comes to the last round, to the third or fourth round, and, and there's three actors or four actors who all did a very good addition. But of course they're all different because they're all individuals. Then the act, the director, in the end decides for, for the person with whom he has some kind of affinity. And you have to get to know that affinity, or it's good if you get to know that affinity very soon, because that way you can give him more, you know, better suggestions for what he would need. And you know, if you compare the mentalities between the different people, the different, you know, like the, the Germans, the Italians, the, the Americans, the Chinese, you know, the further away, the more interesting it gets, you understand that these things, they, they form you, right? And so that's what's important in this alchemy. That's why I'm saying it's intimate. It, it's important that you understand this as a casting director, because as a casting director, you're not the director. You collaborate with and for the director, but he's the guy who's going to be directing, or she is if it's a woman. What is she name? I mean, not always, <laughs> but no, because it's so great to see when, you know, when you give actors the lines and you see how they react and, and when you see, you, you really, really get to know a lot about people also. You know, if someone has confidence in, in the place, in you, in the atmosphere, and then they can really dig out, you know, or, or not dig out, but, but really let out everything then they are more creative. Sometimes it's really, really beautiful doing auditions. <laughs> Sometimes it's ghastly. To not worry too much, I find. There's always pressure from the director. I mean, for the director, it's a very, very, that's why I keep saying intimate moment, because for the director, this, the moment when he casts a film, Especially in Europe, where most of the directors are auteur directors, so that means they've written the story and they've invented the characters. And that also means that usually they wait at least three years, if not ten years, to actually do the film. They've written, they've, they've written and, with, with, and with the characters of this film that they you know, invented, they've been living for three or for ten years, you know. The moment then that it goes, like I said, and another occasion, as long as we discuss a, a screenplay, everybody sort of immediately understands what you mean and everything is clear. Why? Because everybody automatically associates a certain image of that character. But the minute you have to choose, the director has to choose which actor is going to be that image that before everybody agreed on, that's where the differences start. Because, of course, the director, you know, takes from his baggage from his experience 
But maybe someone else looks at it and says, it has a different extent. We all have different memories, different associations. That's where then people say, no, no, yes, no, 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 you know. That's the, and that's challenging because, um, well, if you get along well with the director, and this also in this case, it's intimacy in a certain way, then, um, then of course you fight for it, or you, you, you try it, and you have to be very calm. You have to be careful not to go, you know, not to, you have to be wise. I think you have to be wise.